Welcome to YQ Academy Hibernate Interview Questions and Answers. 1. What is Hibernate? Hibernate is one of the most popular Java frameworks that simplify the development of Java application to interact with the database. It is an object relational mapping ORM tool. Hibernate also provides a reference implementation of Java API. It is referred as a framework which comes with an abstraction layer and also handles the implementations internally. The implementations include tasks like writing a query for CRUD operations or establishing a connection with the databases, etc. Hibernate develops persistence logic, which stores and processes the data for longer use. It is a lightweight tool and most importantly open sourced, which gives it an edge over other frameworks. 2. What are the major advantages of Hibernate Framework? It is open sourced and lightweight. Performance of Hibernate is very fast. Helps in generating database independent queries. Provides facilities to automatically create a table. It provides query statistics and database status. 3. What are the advantages of using Hibernate over JDBC? 1. Hibernate eliminates a lot of boilerplate code that comes with JDBC API. The code looks cleaner and readable. 2. This Java framework supports inheritance, associations, and collections. These features are actually not present in JDBC. 3. HQL Hibernate query language is more object-oriented and close to Java. But for JDBC, you need to write native SQL queries. 4. Hibernate implicitly provides transaction management, whereas in JDBC API, you need to write code for transaction management using commit and rollback. 5. JDBC throws SQL exception that is a checked exception, so you have to write a lot of try-catch block code. Hibernate wraps JDBC exceptions and throw GDAS exception or Hibernate exception, which are the unchecked exceptions. So you don't have to write code to handle it has built-in transaction management, which helps in removing the usage of try-catch blocks. 4. What is an ORM tool? It is basically a technique that maps the object that is stored in the database. ORM tool helps in simplifying data creation, manipulation, and access. Internally uses the Java API to interact with the databases. 5. Why use Hibernate framework? It overcomes the database dependency faced in the JDBC. Changing of the databases cost a lot working on JDBC. Hibernate overcomes this problem with flying colors. Code portability is not an option while working on JDBC. This is easily handled by Hibernate. Hibernate strengthens the object level relationship. It overcomes the exception handling part which is mandatory while working on JDBC. It reduces the length of code with increased readability by overcoming the boilerplate problem. 6. What are the different functionalities supported by Hibernate? Hibernate is an ORM tool. Hibernate uses Hibernate query language call which makes it database independent. It supports auto DDL operations. This Java framework also has an auto primary key generation support. Supports cache memory. Exception handling is not mandatory in the case of Hibernate. 7. What are the technologies that are supported by Hibernate? XDocLet Spring. Maven, Eclipse plugins, J2E, they. What is HQL? HQL is the acronym of Hibernate Query Language. It is an object-oriented query language and is independent of the database. 9. How to achieve mapping in Hibernate. Association mappings are one of the key features of Hibernate. It supports the same associations as the relational database model. They are one-to-one -one associations, many tune associations, many too many associations. You can map each of them as a uni or bidirectional association. 10. Name some of the important interface of Hibernate framework. Session Factory Org. Hibernate. Session Factory. Session Org. Hibernate. Session. Transaction Org. Hibernate. Transaction. 11. What is one to one association in Hibernate? In this type of mapping, you only need to model the system for the entity for which you want to navigate the relationship in your query or domain model. You need an entity attribute that represents the association, so annotate it with an at the rate one tune annotation. 12. 
what is one too many association in hibernate. In this type of association, one object can be associated with multiple slash different objects. Talking about the mapping, the one too many mapping is implemented using a set Java collection that does not have any redundant element. This one too many element of the set indicates the relation of one object to multiple objects. 13. What is many too many association in Hibernate? Many too many mapping requires an entity attribute and at the rate many many annotation. It can either be unidirectional and bidirectional. In unidirectional, the attributes model the association and you can use it to navigate it in your domain model or JPQL queries. The annotation tells Hibernate to map a many too many association. The bidirectional relationship mapping allows you to navigate the association in both directions. 14. How to integrate Hibernate and Spring. Spring is also one of the most commonly used Java frameworks in the market today. Spring is a Java -E framework and Hibernate is the most popular ORM framework. This is why Spring Hibernate combination is used in a lot of enterprise applications. Following are the steps you should follow to integrate Spring and Hibernate. 1. At Hibernate Entity Manager, Hibernate Core and Spring ORM dependencies. 2. Create model classes and corresponding DAO implementations for database operations. The DAO classes will use session factory that will be injected by the Spring Bean configuration. 3. Note that you don't need to use Hibernate Transaction Management, as you can leave it to the Spring Declarative Transaction Management using at the rate transactional annotation. 15. What do you mean by Hibernate Configuration File? Hibernate configuration file mainly contains database-specific configurations and are used to initialize session factory. Some important parts of the Hibernate configuration file are dialect information, so that Hibernate knows the database type and mapping file or class details. 16. Mention some important annotations used for Hibernate mapping. Hibernate supports JPA annotations. Some of the major annotations are 1. Javax. Entity. This is used with model classes to specify they are entity beans. 2. Javax. Assistance. Table. It is used with entity beans to define the corresponding table name in the database. 3. Javax. Assistance. Access. Used to define the access type, field, or property. The default value is field. And if you want Hibernate to use the getter slash setter methods, then you need to set it to a property. 4. Javax. Assistance. Defines the primary key in the entity being. 5. Javax. Assistance. Embedded it. It defines a composite primary key in the entity being. 6. Javax. Assistance. Column. Helps in defining the column name in the database table. 7. Javax. Assistance. Generated value. It defines the strategy to be used for the generation of the primary key. It is also used in conjunction with Javax. Persistence. Generation type enum. This is the end of our Hibernate interview questions. We hope you enjoyed learning with YQ Academy. Until next time, goodbye.